Hi, I'm Ellie Levo and today I'm going to be recreating Sabrina Carpenter's makeup from the Taste music video. So I'm starting off with putting on a blonde wig because that's really part of her whole look and image. Priming my skin with a plumping primer. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm really going to focus on the arch being very thick and the tail going out very far towards the bottom. And then the front, I'm going to try to keep it more rounded. And I'm using an eyebrow gel to really secure that shape of the eyebrow. I'm putting a bit of concealer at the front to really make them look more rounded. Then you're gonna take a medium warm brown eyeshadow shade. I really focus that on the outer corner of the eye, dragging it into the crease. Then I'm gonna go over it with a fluffy brush to really blend it well. Then I'm gonna make a very small eyeliner on the outer corner. And then all the way across the lash line, Next up, you're gonna take a flat brush with some concealer and make a cut crease. You're gonna want to drag the cut crease very close to the inner corner and stop at around the halfway point of the lid. Then I'm setting it with some white eyeshadow. And we're gonna go back to the outer corner and take a darker brown shade and really pack it on there. And then you're gonna take a fluffy brush and blend it out into the other shades. Next up, you're gonna take a flat brush with some black eyeshadow and trace over the previously made eyeliner. This will really soften up the eyeliner look. Now you're gonna drag it to the bottom lash line, not in the waterline, but under it. And for the inner corner, you're gonna go a bit on the lash line. Next up, you're gonna take a white eyeliner pencil and draw it at the outer corner. Next up, you're gonna take a fluffy brush with the medium brown shade and blend it a bit. And you're gonna take that medium brown shade and you're gonna trace above the cut crease. You're gonna drag the white eyeshadow in the inner corner. For the mascara, keep it very close to your lash line, except for the outer corner. There you want to extend it so it makes your eyes look more get eye like. Same applies for the bottom lashes. For the base, you're gonna start off with whichever foundation you like. I'm choosing a very luminous but thin skin tint, but feel free to use whatever works for your skin. For concealer, you're gonna want to apply it not too close to your eyes, and then gradually blend it out towards your eyes. Then I'm gonna contour my nose. This is completely optional. I'm just doing this for the extra step to try to look like her. And I'm trying to make my nose bridge very small and then make the tip wider. Then I'm setting everything with a translucent setting powder. And for facial contour, I'm really focusing on the lower half of my face. Then I'm applying a shimmery bronzer because Miss Carpenter is looking very sunkissed in the video. Then you're gonna take a pinky shimmery blush and really apply it generously. Then for the lips I'm gonna start with a dark brown lip liner and just really trace the natural shape of my lips. I'm also filling in the corners of my lips. I put a bit of emphasis on the cupid's bow and its pointiness. Then I'm taking a warm brown lip cream and really blending the lip liner into the natural color of my lips, keeping the color out of the middle of it. Then I'm gonna apply a shimmery brownish lip gloss. To finish it off, I'm using a dewy setting spray. Time to take out the bangs. Here's a reminder of me before and after. I really hope you liked this video and also if you want to know any of the products, they're all in the description below. Bye, I love you, X. Mm.